I give consent to sever my memories between my work life and my personal life. I find it more interesting just sort of the, the question of, uh, you know, what it is is to uh, sever yourself uh, and, and the idea of cutting off from your um, your memories and emotions and living sort of, uh, you know, outside of yourself when you're at work and, and the idea of that to me is the most interesting part. I was, I was such a big fan of Ben's, like all the way back to his MTV show when he did an imitation of Bono. Um, I was like, this is, this is my guy. <laughs> this is like, it's hilarious. And then all, me and all my stoner buddies every Sunday night watching. The, the, the Ben Stiller show on Fox as well. And then, you know, you kind of calling me with this this show and just the idea hooked me in right away because it just sounds like exactly the kind of show I would want to watch. Uh, so I, I was in from the start. I didn't even need to read anything, but once I did, I was, I was just so excited. Petey is no longer with this company. I'm sorry, Mark. You guys are one of my favorite office friendships. What happened? We'd love to tell you, but unfortunately, non-disclosure policy forbids. I confer upon you the advanced role of department chief. Congratulations. A handshake is available upon request. Thank you. May I have a handshake? Yeah, I mean, it was really hard, I think, originally to figure out what the tone was. From the material, you could tell it was sci-fi, and it has black comedy kind of aspects it you know there's moments where it's overt comedy you know silly comedy and then there's there's moments where it's also film noir it's a mystery it's so many different things so for me as an actor it was very hard to kind of figure out what the tone was but ben always knew what the tone was so at a certain point we just kind of had to go is this the right direction dude um, it started to make sense as we moved through, but it was a real exercise of faith. Originally. What's happening? What is it we actually do here? I know what Ben Still is like as an actor. We've seen him on screen so much and he's fantastic and hilarious. But what is Ben Stiller, the director, like? Is it a completely different guy or do you kind of get one and the same? He's not a wall like that. <laughs> He's a very serious guy and really hardworking, really detailed, really specific. And he doesn't joke around a lot. I mean, when he does, it's, you know, once in a while he does. But uh, he really uh, helped develop the whole piece and he, he was really committed, uh, you know, visually in, a, in, in every aspect, in every department. So, uh, no, it's, you know, uh, that's a completely different person. 